Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to today's Bitcoin update for Thursday 3rd of March and uh, guys be careful of uh, this pattern basically be careful of a triple top because there is a possibility where you can start to make a triple top out uh, all of a sudden and then you push to the downside and that's bearish okay that's a very 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 bearish pattern now uh, this update is gonna be a very simple fairly straight to the point kind of update that I normally like to do in between so let's go on to Google now first of all I want to talk about the triple top pattern right, right there so we want to go to the images here and uh, let's talk about the triple top so here we are this is the triple top pattern and um, when you see a triple top guys this can be really 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 dangerous for for Bitcoin and what Bitcoin actually is doing is the same right now so you do have a triple top if you look at it this way you have one top here second top there and this is putting in yet another top right here so you you really want to be very 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 careful when it comes to the triple top pattern so number one thing is this one that I want to point out and you can see very very clear in the image right now you're gonna have a neckline potentially in there so is this gonna be your neckline is this the neckline right here or not we're gonna find out or are we just trying to push in into ascending triangle now the charts we do know this by now okay if you're, if you're not new to trade uh, to technical analysis if you're new to technical analysis then understand this that the pattern can always keep changing all the time and uh, what, what, what you see as a bullish pattern can suddenly in a snap just switch to a bearish one and what looks like a bearish pattern all of a sudden can switch to a green uh, to a bullish pattern it just takes w one big green candle or one big green red candle and the game just flips like that and I always say this the market is just like a river it has its own its ebbs and flaws and you have to switch with the direction that this river flows into does it make the storm go with the storm uh, settle down with the storm okay storm like this ones do you see that's a very very big storm right there okay and then does it become cool does it give you uh, the opportunity something like this one here is this the coolness take that does it flip to the downside flip with it okay loyalty commitment are just good in real life not in crypto they suck in crypto by the way you don't have to be um, like hey I'm gonna be very fair and square with you crypto Bitcoin I'm gonna hold you for dear life no 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 don't do that of course um, uh, it depends if you're holding long term then I'm silent on that matter but if you're looking to trade a little bit here and there no no you just conf uh, trade based on confirmation and what is confirmation basically is when you break out of this resistance point back test this level that's when you trade that's when you take an entry right now are you doing this hell no you're not doing that now in my opinion honestly on the daily it's like you're really trying to make an ascending triangle okay so that uh, the question does remain if you do come down to this area which is 39,542 touch this line and if you do make a reaction to the upside there again to the 45 45,000 44,500 and then you just continue like this you know until the apex which is nearly 29 of April then you're gonna get the answer nearly this uh, next month that's a little bit of a long time let's say midterm you're gonna have to wait midterm for a confirmation if and only if of course this is an ascending triangle otherwise it just could be a big W right there and then you just start to push to the upside anytime soon you could do that as well so but let's do that first okay let's actually push to the upside go to 46 47 thousand for the first time from 47,000 you do come down to nearly 45k 44,500 back test this level and then I'm gonna tell you the next technical targets from uh, from here to here if this is a double bottom okay so that's gonna be taking you all the way up to nearly $57,000 if and only if you start to do something like this okay you haven't done it yet otherwise otherwise as I told you the charts can twist if I say that this can happen doesn't mean it will happen this is just theory at this point of time it's speculation it is just me observing if this can happen of course that's just a story not a fact now the facts come in the second part the second part that I actually release is always critical like 
it means that there's a confirmation of a break to the upside or there's a confirmation of a break to the downside and if you look at the success rate of the second part all of them are almost perfect right so they they almost worked out and if you're not in the discord join the discord if you want to continue to watch this video and by the way i told you guys i need 15 thousand subscribers by june because june is my birthday so if i don't get that fifteen thousand people i'm not i'm not celebrating my birthday right and anyway um right now the current situation with bitcoin is that you have been printing a little bit of an upward continuation for some few days here and there and it's gonna take a break in my opinion if it doesn't take a break then there's only one answer to that it's interested to actually cross the neckline and back test the neckline to continue if it doesn't come down here so it's all speculation the scenarios there are three to four to five scenarios which i'm going to talk about one number one scenario was a potential triple top which is a bearish pattern just as i showed you right there it could be even something like this one so uh, this is something we have to be very very careful of you make a triple top that's not good that's really really not good okay all right, number two is that this is a double bottom or a W like this one. And uh, you don't really come down here to form an ascending triangle. And you just push out of this area to 47,399, back test the 44,000 here, and then boom. From there, you make your journey to the upside to 57,000, which I've told you and already spoke about. And then again, uh, another scenario is that since you've already been oversold here and it seems like you made a bearish engulfing candlestick nearly there or a bearish harami candlestick in my opinion. This one, the, the two candles that you see with one another is a bearish candle actually. The green candle next to it, the red candle, bearish harami. It's, it means that a reversal is about to happen, not a continuation to go up. This means reversal from where you came from you went up so the reverse of that one is going to be down right simple now if you do come down here you are going to find another <laughs> scenario that can play out i just i'm just observing right now okay nothing is final the only thing that's final i'm going to tell you when it's going to be final just a sec so you do have a left shoulder here you do have a head who knows just come down a little bit even to the forty-two thousand and make a right shoulder and then from here you make an inverse head and shoulder you break out of it that still takes you where to the fifty seven thousand dollars and it could be possible that this happens do you know why um let's say here i'm going to show you something right there so you do have this top to the bottom right there and uh what you did here basically is you crossed the golden ratio which is the 0 0.618 guys um, actually there's one 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 point here at the 786 you do have a small uh, support right there which is gonna be 42,717 so actually come down just a little bit consolidate here make a right shoulder and then you just start to break out boom boom you break out of a big W you're breaking out of an inverse head and shoulder all in all, you're just flipping bullish. The market is getting really, really heated up once again. Or uh, the best pick for me is the 0 0.618. So you can already see the idea that I'm trying to feed in your brain right now. Come to the 786, potentially inverse head and shoulder. Come to the 0 0.618, which is the golden ratio. You're potentially uh, going to be forming that big ascending triangle. Do you see that? Because if you do come here, then go up like this and boom, boom. Then you're making an ascending triangle. Now, that one also takes you to the 50 plus K. Now, that's the upside of that thing. That's just some few scenarios that can happen, which has not happened just yet. The next one is the fact that you come down here, bounce off this place, continue to co uh, consolidate and make people wait for a long time because Bitcoin loves to do this. And then instead of going downside, you actually go to the upside to the 46,000 and then you make a fake out and then you go down to where this thing is, which is going to be 33,660, breaking that ascending triangle to the downside and not really going to the upside, even making a fake out. So if you do break out, wait for the confirmation of a retest. Always do that. I always say this on the channel. 
And this is a mistake that so many people always do. So many people out there always do. Now, I do remember the Iliad wave theory that we spoke about. This is going to be the first wave, second wave, third wave, potentially fourth wave, fifth wave. Now, did we just put a flat ABC correction? Is this ABC correction done, finished? Because this could have been your A, your B, and your C, a flat ABC correction. So if you don't know about flat ABC correction, ABCs, even though I told you one thing, let me go to the outer droid. I do remember telling you this, that the C is bigger than the A, but there's actually one thing that I just want to point out again, because I'm going to be fair with you. Now, this, uh, you know, when you go in Iliad wave theory, this is the first wave, second wave, third, fourth, fifth, right? A, the B, the C is the biggest one, right? But there is something known as a flat ABC correction, and that's going to be just, boom, A, the B, and then the C, just that just like this okay and that's what bitcoin has did and this is the end of the c correction is this just the end of the c have we already corrected with the c correction is the with theory out of the park or is the c actually gonna be huge for that one it really has to break this level unless it doesn't break you're not getting that big c wave to the upside i'm gonna just tell you he right here right now okay so that's what you want to see and you could actually potentially have already completed it and this could have tri been triple top one two and this is the third one right there that's bearish pattern you break to the downside and you continue with the downtrend it is what it is and at least at this point of time you can see uh, that, that uh, everything is merging up with each other so let's do flat uh, abc correction here uh, just like that flat abc correction right so this is what i want you to see flat abc correction uh, i just want to see if the, yeah this one this one all right this is what i want to show you so you do have the a the b and then the c you can see that and that's the end of the correction simple put that's it finished the a the b and then the C. So it could be a flat ABC correction. So be careful of this pattern. Be really, really careful. And it uh, the, the continuation of a downtrend can still be in play. I'm not saying it's going to be like that unless you don't break out of things and confirm it. Because by the end of the day, you still have three black crows and you, you are still restricted on the 10 EMA. Other than that, I, I wish I could have told you that everything is okay. But I'm really, really afraid of this three black crows because it is still... In play it is still intact and th that was the daily time frame that I showed you right this is a monthly time frame that I'm showing you and if I actually go to the outer draw and let's, let's, let's talk about it we do know that one uh, you know the f one hour time frame is way more better than the 15 minutes time frame because one hour has more confirmation than the 15 minutes the four hour time frame is way more better than one hour time frame because you do have more confirmation and less noise. The same applies that when it comes to the monthly, the monthly is going to be definitely way more better than the daily because you do have way more less noise and information on the monthly. But this one is going to take uh, a lot of days to play out the three black crows because we are talking about the monthly time frame. So I'm not saying it's going to dump tomorrow in one hour, in two hours. It, it is going to take some few months before you actually go to drop to the downside. So because we're talking about the monthly time frame, when we were on the, on the daily, it takes 24 hours to actually complete. So it could take a few weeks, a uh, couple of weeks. But this one is going to take a couple of months for actually for it to play out in between here. Yes, on intraday trading, you could even make some 10 percent trades, 20 percent trades here and there. You are going to get that opportunity like intraday trading or scalping or whatever. I'm not saying you're not going to get any opportunity, but you got to trade those part carefully. That's all I'm saying, right? So uh, this was a little bit of fun, very straightforward kind of update that I just wanted to bring out there. All the possibilities are there. Of course, I'm going to be waiting for the response, at least on the daily, if we get a breakout or you just continue to make the ascending triangle anything can happen at this instance as you can see so that's it for today's update i'm gonna see you with the next one Allah Hafiz.